welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's vlog. Once again, I feel like I have so much that I need to tell you. I don't even know where to start, but I think I'm going to start with something that I was sent recently and I'm so excited about. So I wanted to try an air purifier in the pet room for such a long time and I've never got around to doing it until a company called Party reached out and asked if I wanted to try one of their air purifiers. So I do get a lot of questions about how I control the odour in the pet room and whether my pet room smells and I'm going to be honest, sometimes there is a smell in here. When it comes to leading up to them needing cleaning out, there is a noticeable odour so I always wanted to try an air purifier to see if it could help control the odours a little bit more leading up to the days of them needing cleaning out. Also I have noticed that Crumble and Humbug have been sneezing quite a lot recently. Nothing serious but I have noticed this happen with the changes in the temperature and the weather at the moment. So I'm really interested to see if this will help them with that. Also I struggle so badly with hay fever and the pollen count at the moment is quite high. So I'm also hoping it will help me with that too. So yeah I'm really excited to try this out in the pet room and hopefully improve the air quality in here a bit. It does use a carbon filter and a HEPA filter. These work together to remove things like pet dander, dust, pet odours, pollen, everything you would expect to be in a pet room especially at this time of year. So I'm really excited to see the effect this has on the air quality. So here is the air purifier. I've been using it for about a week now and I am really happy with it. My favourite feature is the fact that it is so quiet especially because I have to film in here. I don't have to worry about switching off when I film, just in case the audio picks it up. It is so quiet that I don't think it is going to pick up the noise of the air purifier, which is really good. But it does have three different fan speeds if you want to. I usually keep it on the first setting, but it does also have a second and a third setting as well. It does also have this onion mode, which more thoroughly cleans dust particles from the air. I am choosing not to use this feature, but they have assured me this air purifier does not release any ozones, which is really important when it comes to picking an air purifier to use with your pets. So it's really important to make sure when you're using an air purifier, you're not getting one that has an ionizing filter and releases any ozones into the atmosphere. You do want to make sure you're using one that is going to be safe, and this one works by using a HEPA and a carbon filter, which is a lot better to use with your pets. So I am really interested to see the difference in the air quality before and after I use the air purifier in this room. I'm also really interested to see the kind of stuff the filter picks up. As I said, I've only been using it for about a week, but I'm really interested to see what kind of stuff it picks up. And I'm also really interested to see the results after using it for a while. So if you'd also like to pick up this air purifier from Partu, I will leave it linked down in the description. They've also given me a discount code which you guys can use for 20% off, which I think is amazing. I'll also leave that linked in the description as well. That does run out on the 15th of June, so if you want to get a discount, make sure you use it in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, thank you to Party for kindly of gifting us this air purifier. I'm really excited to see the results, and I think it's going to be such a good addition to the pet room. So I wanted to give you an update on how Crumble and Humbug are doing after we lost Moose. Crumble right now is sleeping in the toilet, which I'm not going to judge him too much, it is quite hot today. Um, but he didn't seem to notice too much the Moose was gone. I feel like he's quite dense, he was just still his crazy, energetic self. He didn't really seem to notice too much. Humbug, however, I did notice a difference in him. He did become quite quiet in the couple of days after Moose passed away. And he was also really clingy with me, which was weird because I don't know if you've noticed, he is quite an independent rat. He doesn't really like to be held or cuddled. But the couple of days after Moose passed away, he did tend to sit on my lap and was spending a lot of time with me, which I thought was quite strange. But him and Moose were really close, they were really good friends. They would always sit together and sleep in the hammock because Crumble is a weirdo that likes to sleep in the toilet, apparently. But yeah, him and Humbug were really close. So I think he definitely, ow, I just banged my arm on the cage. He definitely noticed the difference when Moose passed away because those two were really good friends, but he's perfectly fine now. He is a little bit quiet still, but he definitely did notice that Moose was missing. But yeah, apart from that, both of them are doing really well. They're just really annoyed with the weather at the moment. They don't like the heat, so they've just been sleeping most of the day. Haven't you, buddy? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love you so much. Why are you so cute? Goodbye. Go back to your toilet. <laughs> So 
I wanted to ask your opinion on something and I'm going to have to be quick because my camera battery is flashing but I've had people ask me in the past whether I would ever consider bringing out merch and I've never really been keen on the idea of having someone else design it or having merch that's very obviously to do with my channel so Emmyology like plastered on something. I've never wanted anything like that but I have been working on designing something myself and I'm kind of almost ready to start bringing it out, but I want to ask your opinion first before I decided to do anything. So obviously I do have my online store where the rats do their paintings, that's kind of their merch, and I do have pictures with Polaroids, things like that, but I did want to design something myself which makes it even more scarier that I could make into a product and possibly you guys could have. So as I said, I really didn't want it to be something that had my channel name plastered all over it. I wanted it to be something that rat lovers could enjoy, even if they don't enjoy me. I wanted to make a project that was for everyone, and not just for people that were subscribed to the channel. So I've been working on that for the past couple of weeks, and I feel like I'm finally ready to bring it out, which is really exciting, but also really scary. So I think initially we're going to start with one product, and I didn't want this to be anything massive and costly because I like the idea of t-shirts and hoodies, but they can be quite pricey to make, and also they're going to be pricey for you guys to buy, so I didn't want to do anything that was going to be too expensive, and also expensive to ship if you're in another country. I want it to be something relatively small, and something that's not going to cost you guys too much for you to be able to support me, but also have something cute in return. So I think we're going to start with an enamel pin and the design that I've drawn myself on my iPad. I think it's really cute, I really like it, and it would be something that I would want to buy if I was buying it from someone else. So mostly I'm just really excited to have one for myself, but we are going to start with something that is rat related, and I think something that everyone that has rats can enjoy. Possibly in the future I will try to adapt it, and we can have a mouse version, but for starters, because most of you are watching me because of rats, I really wanted to bring out a project that was related to rats. So initially we will be starting with a small rat related enamel pin. Obviously you guys haven't seen the design yet and I'm going to keep it a secret I think. You might hate the design when it comes out but if you would be interested in supporting me and also getting something cute like an enamel pin in the process. I think you can put polls on YouTube videos, I'm not sure. I've never tried to do it before so if a poll magically appears Somewhere on screen, please vote honestly yes or no whether this would be something you're interested in. Failing that, if I can't figure out how to put that on screen, just comment down below yes or no with a rat emoji and that will give me a good idea of numbers of how many people are interested because if you didn't know about the process of ordering enamel pins, it is quite a complicated process. You do have to order like a lot in advance so please let me know, it would help out a lot. But to anyone that has been asking about anything merch related in the past, I hope this satisfies your needs for something physical to have that I've created. I'm not too sure how long the process is going to take. I need to find like a manufacturer and talk through the whole process. Obviously once I know you guys are interested, but I'm just putting the feelers out there whether you'd be interested or not. So yeah, please vote on the poll if it even exists or comment down below, that would really help me a lot. So I wanted to say thank you to everyone that commented on my millipede video. The response I got was really nice. I know not everyone is into millipedes and some of you are actually scared of millipedes, so I won't torment you with them too much, but it was really nice to see that I was changing people's minds about millipedes. Some people said they were scared of them and now they think they're cute, which is really nice to see. So as I suspected, Solero the bumblebee and millipede has disappeared into the soil pretty much the day I got him. And I've not seen him since. It's a very weird thing to get used to, but it is fairly normal. A lot of people have told me that they've not seen theirs for five, six months. So God knows when we'll see him, but hopefully he'll make an appearance and be a lot bigger next time. Magnum, on the other hand, is such a funny millipede. I'm so glad I have him. He's really cute because when I bought this coconut hide, I thought I was being really ridiculous that a millipede is not going to use it, but every night, pretty much, he goes in there to sleep, which is the cutest thing, seeing him all curled up in the coconut, so I love that. Also, he's always out and about, I love him so much, he'll come and have a little drink, and if I put some fruit or vegetables down, he'll come and eat them too, so he's so cute, and I'm really glad I have him. I might as well give you an update on the leaf insects whilst we're doing the rounds and talking about everyone. They're doing good, they're still laying eggs, I counted the other day, and I think between the two females I've laid about 500 eggs at this point, which is absolutely insane. Some people that bought the eggs from them when they first started laying back in January have actually had some of them start to hatch, which is so exciting. I'm kind of jealous because I think the ones I saved back for myself, I kind of collected them 
February time, I think. So I think mine have like a month more to go until they hatch. But I've seen a lot of people all around the country with their babies start to have them hatch, which is really cute. But yeah, you can see one of the females down there. I'm not too sure. Oh, there's another female. We do only have two males in here at the moment. I'm telling you, 2020 is not our year. We did have one of the males pass away, but they don't live very long anyway. They live about six months. Um, so I did find one of them passed away the other week. We do still have two females and two males living in here and hopefully some babies very, very soon. Hi, Orbit. Why are you looking at me like that? I'll give you some snacks in a minute. So Orbit's doing good. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in a previous video, but she did go off her food for a couple of weeks. And I'm not too sure if your leopard geckos also do this, but it seems at certain times of year she doesn't like dubia roaches, which is frustrating because I like her to have a varied diet. But she is now eating again. She's eating mealworms, which isn't ideal. Crumble is jumping on my desk. I'll show you what he's doing in a second, which isn't ideal because I do like her to have variation, but she is eating again, which is the main thing. Excuse me, sir. Should we show everyone what you've been doing? <laughs> you want it? Go get it. Get it. There's your snack. Yay. <laughs> Yummy. So I've come over here and I'm standing next to the mouse cage because I do have some sad news to update you on if you've not seen on my other social media. Unfortunately the other day I did come in here to check on the mice before I went to bed and I did unfortunately find Opal, one of my oldest mice, passed away kind of in the bedding. The other mice had actually buried her which is fairly common for rats and mice to do but it was very unexpected and quite a shock. I think because she was doing so well health wise, literally two hours before I came in here she was running around, eating with the other mice, doing absolutely fine. I think because she was doing so well, I kind of forgot that she was the age that she was, if that makes sense. She was going to be two years old sometime in July. So she was quite an elderly mouse. They do live about 1.5 to two years on average. So I just wasn't expecting it. I don't think I really acknowledged that in my head, but she has unfortunately passed away. So I feel like 2020 is just not our year. Everything seems to be going wrong this year, but a lot of my rodents have been coming up to their second or third birthday. Pearl is with me. She's doing absolutely fine. She's going to be two in August time, which terrifies me because she is a secret favourite and I'm going to be absolutely devastated when I lose her as well, but we're not going to think about that right now. The other mice are doing fine. They don't seem to miss her too much and she was absolutely fine. As I said, she was running around. I'm guessing it was just her time to go and I'm guessing it was relatively quick. She didn't have any health issues or anything I could see that could be like an apparent cause of death. Um, and I'm doing absolutely fine as well. I think owning rodents for this amount of time you do tend to kind of get used to it and get used to the loss. It never gets any easier but you just kind of learn how to cope with it. So I'm doing okay. It was very unexpected and a shock at like 11 o'clock at night but I'm doing okay. Well, come here. You miss your sister. What's this? <laughs> I love how she shuts her eyes. You're so silly. <laughs> So not much has changed in the mouse enclosure. I did add this plant pot the other day because things like ceramic or tile is really good to add in when it gets hot. They can go into this and lie down and it is relatively cool compared to the rest of the enclosure so I thought I'd just add that in there for them. They do also have, they do also have bits of slate kind of rock down there if they want to lie on that. Mostly they just kind of splay out on this area. I don't know what this is, they pulled this in through the lid the other day, but they tend to just lie kind of on here when they get hot and don't really use the things I give them to help them, but Spriggy, why are you the only one awake? So that is it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget if you do want to have the same air purifier as me from Partu, I will leave that linked in the description as well as the discount code. I did also want to say a massive thank you to anyone that is a channel member, especially anyone that's joined in the last couple of months. I did also want to say a thank you to the rat here. I do have my phone with me just so I don't forget anyone, but I want to say a special thank you. So I want to say a thank you to Jess, Felicity, Sebastian, Brandy, Gaelic Knox, Tioko, I hope I'm saying that right, 
Craig, James, Sarah, Carrie, Ashley, Reese, and Laurie, thank you so much, you guys are the best. If you do want to become a channel member, there are some very exciting updates going on there at the moment, but if not, that's okay, you will find out in a future video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Say bye, pal!